Hey guys, uh, thanks for tuning in today. Today I wanted to explain to you a little bit about encryption. Um, encryption kind of gets thrown around a lot and I think a lot of people just don't even know what the word itself means. And so I wanted to update you guys and let you know, um, you know what encryption is, what its purpose is and how it's used in many of the tools that you probably use every day online. So first of all, what is encryption? Well, it's taking, um, you know, files or um, text or pretty much anything that's transmitted electronically and taking it in its plain text form, uh, basically putting that through an algorithm or a math formula that tells you how to scramble it or encrypt it. And then putting that out in an encrypted form. So, um, you know, say you have the name John, well, uh, if you, you know, just send that in plain text, anybody monitoring a network or who is able to find that file will be able to see, oh, well, this is about John. However, if you encrypt it so that, you know, John is represented by 8659342, um, the person who um, like can see that file in encrypted form won't have any idea what that means. So um, uh, services online use encryption uh, like email services or messaging services to keep your information private and from other people who you don't want to see that from seeing it. So when you encrypt something, you usually um, will encrypt it on your machine or on your uh, side of the network uh, it'll be encrypted there and then sent over the network in encrypted form so that no one who intercepts that can see what is in your files. And then the person who receives it has a key or uh, a key is basically like a, a, an explanation of what the encryption method is so that that person can decrypt the file and see it in plain text or unencrypted format. Um, I think a lot of people kind of think that encryption is um, kind of an outdated or like a old fashioned way of communicating like, uh, you know, in past, past wars, different countries have used encryption to send uh, encrypted messages, or maybe, you know, you see some tablet from ancient Egypt that was written in some sort of code and that's all forms of encryption. It's just not, um, a modern version. Um, today, the kind of the standard is AES-256 encryption. And what that means is that your encrypted files or text is protected by a 256-bit key. So you, uh, you really can't crack that. I mean, you can, and it's definitely been cracked before, but um, <clears throat> when you're trying to guess a 256 character uh, code, there's millions of options for what what the, the key could be. And so, um, you know, it's really hard to crack and it would take years for even the most powerful supercomputers to run through all those possibilities. So encryption itself isn't perfect. And, uh, you know, if you really need to say something and the stakes are incredibly high and you don't want anyone to possibly come across that, which is really limited to like uh, government communications or super high stakes cyber crime. Um, you know, you're better off just telling someone in person um, because um, of things like backdoors and backdoor. What a backdoor is, is like a, a loophole or like a, um, a way for like maybe the software company that created the encryption system that you're using to access the files within that encrypted package. And backdoors also have been implemented by organizations like the NSA who want to uh, monitor your communications. Um, and I just want people to know that these backdoors exist in encryption systems and um, they inherently introduce other vulnerabilities into those systems. Because if 
one group or person is able to get into the uh, encrypted files using that backdoor while someone else could exploit that and then access your private communications or information. Um, so uh, if you're using iMessage, for example, you're using an encrypted form of messaging or something like Signal or even services like Dropbox uh, with certain settings and plans offer encryption so that when your services are stored on the, or files are stored on the cloud, you're not leaving yourself vulnerable to someone hacking into your account or if Dropbox suffers a data breach, you're not leaving your uh, sensitive files on the internet. So uh, that's just kind of a brief rundown of encryption that's not super in depth. I'll link to a few more resources in the description of this video if you're interested in learning more about uh, the technical side of encryption and like the methods and some of the different encryption protocols. Uh, but I just wanted to give you a brief rundown for those of you who aren't familiar with encryption and uh, just wanted to share that. So thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you've made it this far. I really appreciate you watching and uh, I'd love for you to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos soon. Thanks for watching.